They say it's a way of life. Having gas on your fingers, wood chips on your skin, and the wild west coast floating through your head. I am a uh, woodworker, wood carver. Um, I call myself a stump artist. Uh, that's my kind of my branding. Um, chainsaw carver, all day long. Whatever you want to call these guys, their work isn't just unique. It's also pretty exciting to watch. I see bears. I see seals. I see like. Swordfishes, chainsaw work, carving, lots of animals and stuff. It's just cool to watch and learn. Watching it's the best part about it. And uh, the sound's just all chainsaws. That's all we hear. Slice after slice, cut after cut. It's pretty amazing how a stump of wood can transform into a work of art. It's uh, something that you basically have to see uh, like a 3D effect sort of thing happening in the log, you know? You have to see it in there and then just carve, a piece, carve away the pieces that aren't supposed to be there. It's definitely an art to figure out what, to, what doesn't belong and what belongs, what to keep. Taking off the big chunks and then you start making some shapes and then you start putting in the details and uh, Next thing you know, you got a carving. Many locals will agree that the chainsaw carving competition was a great addition to this year's salmon festival in Port Alberni. The fishing certainly is a staple, and it's part of what we are and who we what we do here. Um, the chainsaw artist—that's part of our heritage in this valley as well. I mean, it goes historically back a hundred years, and uh, you know, it's neat to pull all of this together, and it's. But also it's fun. It's uh, fun to have all this action. And the woodcarvers themselves were happy to be a part of the Salmon Festival and show not only their talent, but also their way of life. I'm so thrilled to be able to, you know, put some more pieces in BC in different towns and stuff. And uh, uh, yeah, it's just like another art gallery for, for us chainsaw carvers, right? Be able to come out here and, in a park and carve in front of people and you know with my friend, other carving friends it's great i mean it's just love of carving and love of the wood really uh, and doing the best like doing the best we can with the piece of wood we're given look for these completed works of art in and around the alberni valley for go on shaw tv i'm jenny fortune